would like uh, to thank uh, specifically uh, Professor Alam for his excellent and, uh, effort in getting us here and always following us, following up with us uh, to, uh, you know, prepare and submit our uh, presentation. Uh, I just want very quickly to give you a background on, uh, you know, what I have done in relation uh, to sustainable development. It's a journey that started in 1991, and um, and then I come, I I fell in love with with the subject itself, and um, because I found it, it's something that really everyone needs such a new thinking. So um, I realize it's a new thinking. It's a transformation of the mind, it is a transformation of the thinking, a transformation of the way we look into the world uh, from whatever level of, of uh, mentality or education uh, we are. Um, the subject which I am going to talk about is a, really a very, very important subject. And this is to do with uh, the cities we live in and uh, what we should do and what have been done in relation uh, to uh, the cities and their development. Uh, uh, obviously, I cannot cover you know, this very, very complicated issue in half an hour. Uh, but I will do my best just to convey the message. Um, I have about 46 years of uh, professional experience, which uh, taught me a lot. I have visited some 55 countries, and uh, originally I am a, a highway engineer, and then I moved to highway planning, and then I moved to uh, uh, city planning. And uh, since 1991, I kept my, you know, updating my profession, uh, and. And then, and, and since 1991, I have been deeply involved in uh, sustainable development. I have been to uh, uh, Istanbul for the Habitat uh, 2 conference. I have been to uh, Johannesburg in 2002. Uh, recently, I have been to the 24th session of the Governing Council of the UN Habitat. I have participated in some uh, 120 conferences, seminars, and workshops in this respect. Very quickly, I will uh, present a background and uh, just uh, go quickly on the journey of United Nations Habitat Conferences and the evolution of Habitat Agenda. I'm, I'm sure most of you are aware of that. Uh, the Habitat Implementation and the preparation of uh, for Habitat 3 conclusions and recommendations. I think we start with this uh, histogram because this is where the problem is, in fact. And uh, some countries, they are suffering from loss of populations, but uh, developing countries really continue to have uh, increase in, in population. And this is where problems come from. Since we talk uh, about human settlements, uh, just roughly we have at least four, 455 uh, cities with 1 million plus, some 1,054 uh, cities with 500, half a million plus, and some 2,851 cities with 150,000 population plus. Um, the reason why I'm mentioning, mentioning these, these figures is uh, when we look into what actions and what reach out uh, we have, we always see uh, uh, projects or experiments with 100 cities, uh, 50 cities, and so on and so forth. So the scale we are talking about is so huge. Again, we have to look always into the balance between the effort, uh, if it is commensurate with with the challenge. Uh, I have to uh, uh, state that it's uh, worrying to note that the uh, concentration of poverty, homelessness, and slums is increasingly associated with the growth of the world's 
urban population. And this, most of you realize that, wherever you go, it's, it's the situation. Even in developed countries, I, I live in, in, uh, in the USA, I live in New Jersey, and you know, I remember seeing scenes in New York City back in the 1990s, really it's, uh, it's something very alarming. As far as Habitat 2 conference, which uh, was called and still being called the City Summit, produced the Habitat Agenda, which has 241 paragraphs. Uh, it, has the, it is the global strategy for sustainable urban and city development and the Istanbul Declaration on Human Settlements, which has 15 articles. It's all contained in this uh, publication. If I may ask, how many of you, I am sure most of you are, have read Habitat Agenda? Okay, thank you. Um, this is the sort of uh, structure of the uh, Istanbul Declaration on Human Settlements. We have issues related to sustainable human settlements. We have issues to do with that half of, of the document deals with the shelter. Uh, we have issues to do with the good urban governance, enablement and uh, participation. We have issues to do with the gender equality, pressing, uh, assessing progress, uh, international cooperation, financing shelter and human settlements. And this is only the, the 15 uh, uh, articles. This is a very thorough and elaborate sort of uh, document telling us what are the problems and what are the actions needed in, in general. So every, every city could tailor made, you know, the, the action in relation to their uh, local conditions and assisted by what is in this global uh, uh, plan. As far as the global plan itself, as I said, 241 articles, it's so, it is so uh, detailed that it is very helpful to any country, developing and developed. But the question, this is, this is the whole issue of, of uh, the, the, the core issue of what I am talking about. We would like to know how many cities throughout the world who are aware of Habitat Agenda. The, the answer is unknown. You do your, you spend time to try to find how many cities. So this is something which I would like you to have it in, in, in the background. Uh, Habitat 2 conference produced the Habitat Agenda, the global strategy. Uh, as I said, uh, I'm sorry, that's okay. Uh, in the Istanbul uh, Declaration, we are, means the, the heads of, of the, the, the countries, saying that uh, uh, and the official delegations of countries assembled at the United Nations Conference on Human Settlements in Istanbul, commit ourselves to objectives, principles, and the recommendations contained in the Habitat uh, uh, Agenda and pledge our mutual support for its implementation. And this is something really uh, a, a very, very important uh, sort of uh, pledge. Habitat Agenda was quite comprehensive, but difficult to read. This is an assessment of, of uh, a meeting by the SCAP, the Economic Commission for uh, Southeast Asia of the United Nations. The agenda is a document drafted and approved by governments and is not yet a people's agenda. That's what they said which I disagree to an extent. Many urban actors, such as local government, civil society organizations, and local com communities, which according to the agenda, should play a key role in its implementation, are not yet aware of it. And that's, that's really the whole, the whole issue. Are not yet aware of it. And this is really something which continues to be the case uh, while even I talk. Unfortunately, 
Habitat 2 concluded that the achievements of sustainable human settlements and the provision of adequate shelter and basic services for all require partnerships. And that was one of the key issues. And it has not been fulfilled yet, as expected. Um, part required partnerships among countries and among all actors within countries, including public, private, voluntary, and community-based organizations, the cooperative sector, non-governmental organizations, and individuals. Partnerships can help to pool resources, share knowledge, contribute skills and capitalization on the comparative advantage of collective uh, work. Uh, so, and here, I move to the journey uh, of the uh, Habitat uh, conferences. It started back in 1972 and went through uh, Vancouver, that was the first uh, conference on human settlements in 1976. And the second conference was in, uh, between, between the two conferences, there, was, there were a lot of, of general, UN general assemblies, uh, resolution, and so on and so forth. Um, the journey ended, uh, just re is not ended, but the last action was uh, the uh, formation of, of uh, uh, an international, uh, an international committee uh, formed by the Secretary General of the United Nations, headed by John Close, the Secretary, Executive Director of uh, UN Habitat. And um, it had its first meeting, and the second meeting is going to be this September. So in a couple of uh, days, I think in the second week of, uh, to decide on which city will host Habitat Three conference uh, in 2016. The journey of implementation of the World Summit on Sustainable Development, the Sustainable Development of Africa. Uh, that was really a, a very, very important and historical sort of, of uh, document as well. Support African countries in their effort to implement the Habitat Agenda and the Istanbul Declaration through initiatives to strengthen national and local institutional capacities in the area of sustainable urbanization and human settlements, provide support for adequate shelter and basic services, and the development of efficient and effective governance systems in cities and other human settlements. So we can see even in 2002, Habitat Agenda was alive at the international level. Unfortunately, it did not reach in other cities. The reason why it did not reach the cities, there is a very, very visible sort of, of, of relation. It's the political relation within countries as well as the relation between the country and UN habitat. So most of the countries who participate in the UN habitat conferences come from the Ministry of Housing. So when those guys, they come back from the conferences, they do not disseminate you know, what they have gained. So you see there is a, like a gap. And I realized this when I organized a conference for Islamic cities to see the implementation of Habitat Agenda in an Islamic uh, cities, go, which was held in Tunisia 2000, in the year 2000. And I met some... Uh, ministers trying to promote for, for the conference. And four years after uh, Istanbul, I was told that we have not even, after four years, we have not received the Habitat Agenda, you know, as, as, as a ministry, because it deals with cities. It's the Ministry of uh, Municipalities in one of the countries. I don't want to mention the country. And that was the case with, with others. So when we invited 146 cities, into Tunisia, and we send them uh, in advance a uh, questionnaire to know who is aware of uh, Habitat Agenda. Out of these 146 capitals, none was aware of, of Habitat Agenda. So this is really something uh, uh, worthy of, of, of uh, consideration. 
Now we have the future we want, that the outcome of, of, of Rio, which we will uh, come to it very soon. But again, why I'm showing this here as part of the journey, because it does m mention habitat agenda. So we, habitat agenda still, until now, not in 2016, because it seems that uh, there is an intention to come up with a new urban uh, agenda. And uh, this is something which really of, of concern. Just recently, the 24th session of the Governing Council of the United Nations on the Human Settlement Program, uh, there is a draft resolution on inputs for and support to the pre preparatory process of the United Nations Conference on Housing and Sustainable Urban Development Preparing for Habitat 3. And it says, while significant progress has been made in implementing the Istanbul Declaration on Human Settlements and the twin goals of the habitat agenda challenges, the challenges remain, such as, among others, the continuing increase of slum dwellers in the world, the negative impact of environmental degradation, including climate change, desertification and loss of biodiversity on human settlements, and the need to reduce disaster risk and build resilience to disasters in urban settlements. So the problems are still there, but the problem is we don't know the scale, the magnitude of what we are facing. And that's really a big problem. I would request you kindly uh, you know, to consider this from the, the humanitarian point of view. Where are we going? Rec recognizing also the need for a review and assessment as a national regional and international levels of the progress made towards the attainment of the goals of Habitat Agenda Goals. Principles and commitments and the goal, uh, global plan of action, that's the Habitat Agenda, and of other international goals relevant to human settlements as a basis for the formulation of a new urban agenda. And this is really where I am very much concerned because I don't I don't think we have achieved much uh, yet uh, in relation to, to, to this uh, document. The habitat uh, implementation, there were relevant solutions of the General Assembly on the implementation of the outcome of the United Nations Conference on Human Settlement. Literature is full with, with these re resolutions. The, um, uh, when, you look, when we look into the uh, commitments, uh, as I said, pledging mutual support for the implementation. And um, uh, there are relevant decisions and resolutions of the Economic and Social Council. Significant progress has been made in implementing the Istanbul Declaration, but this significant progress is very limited, unfortunately. Um, again, the UN Habitat, uh, mandated by the General Assembly, they, they established what they call the urban observatories. So a number of countries, not all developing countries, have already established urban observatories. Uh, some countries like Saudi Arabia, they have almost an urban observatory in every main uh, city. Unfortunately, in UAE, we don't have one yet. Uh, many, many others, uh, other countries, uh, cities, they don't have one yet. Uh, the implementation of, of Habitat Agenda, uh, again, I can uh, state with, with uh, confidence that um, there were efforts, but the, the efforts were limited. Um, Governments, for example, have the primary responsibility for, for implementing the Habitat Agenda. That was stated clearly in the document. Governments are as enabling partners. But when we check and see what governments have, have done, in fact, relatively, have done very, very little in, in this respect. Um, Governments as enabling partners should create and strengthen uh, effective partnership with women, youth, and el uh, the elderly persons with disabilities, vulnerable and disadvantaged uh, groups, uh, and indigenous people and co communities, 
local authorities, the private sector, and non-governmental organizations in each country. And this is really, this is an article related to the, uh, within this government, in relation to how, do, how should we implement uh, Habitat Agenda. Uh, one comment of the European Union back in 2001, uh, it says the Habitat Agenda cannot be fully implemented without an inclusive cooperation between all habitat partners. So at the level of European Union, you can see there was a problem. Um, and, and they continue the cooperation between governments, non-governmental organizations, and the representatives from local authorities and the private sector is of particular importance in order to promote a participatory citizenship. Uh, in here, really, uh, there is a statement uh, issued by uh, uh, the Department for International Development in the UK uh, saying that national governments are at the forefront of strategies to uh, address the urban challenge. And it says here, UNCHS Habitat has not, until recently, I'm just quoting, been able to provide the leadership and vision that the Habitat uh, agenda required. And, and we can just imagine, if this is the case with the agency that is mandated to promote Habitat agenda, so what is the consequences on the other side? Uh, part of the journey of uh, Habitat Agenda is to go to, to, to Habitat 3 conference. And the Habitat 3 conference have objectives uh, to secure reno renewed uh, political commitment for sustainable urban development, uh, assess accomplishments to date, address poverty, and identify and addressing new and emerging challenges. And if we go into details, these challenges, the emerging challenges, I think most of them are related to the mainly to the climate change. And the climate change comes usually under the environmental issues, which is already stated here. So I see, I see no reason why we should invent or prepare a new urban agenda because of emerging things that are already implicitly available here. Uh, also, the Habitat 3 conference is expected to result in a concise, focused, forward-looking, and action-oriented outcome document, new urban agenda. I myself, I mean, I couldn't see anything which is, you know, uh, not clear in, in this document, which I have been living with for the last, God knows, uh, since 1996. The new urban agenda is supposed to uh, reinvigorate the global commitment to and support for housing and sustainable urban development. There is a manifesto for, for uh, cities, you could uh, look at it, and this is really orchestrated and taken by uh, something called the Global Campaign for Urban uh, Agenda, which they are preparing for the last uh, 18 to 20, 20 months for Habitat 3. Um, we call for strong partnership Habitat Agenda partners to craft and implement a global urban agenda. By the way, I participated in one of their meetings just recently in April in, in Nairobi. And uh, I just wanted to uh, see, I mean, because I saw uh, Habitat Agenda partners, so I said, wonderful. So now we are talking about Habitat Agenda. So when I was there, Habitat agenda was not on, on, on the agenda of the meeting. And when I asked, I said, no, we are talking something else. <laughs> so this is really very, very interesting. <laughs> I, I had to leave because, you know, I came particularly to see what is being done and what is the situation, the position in relation to habitat agenda. Um, I have to jump now, if you don't mind. Okay. The conclusion, uh, I think Habitat Agenda is an outcome of the world's community to achieve sustainable development for the human settlements across the globe. Uh, it is 13 years old now. 
the whole world was so enthusiastic about Habitat Agenda that enthusiasm, unfortunately, has faded away. Faded away. Habitat Agenda is a well-drafted document being the global plan for sustainable urban development. And uh, it sets the conditions for its implementation success in a clear and elaborative way. Uh, global, regional, national, and local e efforts uh, exerted during the last 17 years were and are not commensurate with the initial enthusiasm. As of now, knowledge about the number of cities and towns aware of Habitat Agenda is unknown and are not available for the public or researchers. A decent number of cities and towns all over the world are not aware of Habitat Agenda. Lack of effective uh, reach out to and communications with the Habitat Agenda, uh, the Habitat Agenda real beneficiaries, as well as the lack of financial support where and are among the main causes for the limited Habitat Agenda implementation success. Urban observations, in addition to other efforts, were established jointly by UN Habitat and governments in a number of cities throughout the world to monitor implementation of, of Habitat Agenda. These efforts are not adequate. There is enough evidence showing that the implementation of Habitat Agenda of 1996 is inadequate, limited, and not fully in line with the requirements set for its success. In 2016, the world will witness the holding of the UN Habitat 3 conference that is expected to produce a new global urban agenda. As far as the, uh, the mishaps, uh, in order to avoid the mishaps that have encountered the implementation of Habitat Agenda, it is rather crucial that the world's com communities dedicated to Habitat Agenda take action that would contribute to a sound outcome of the Habitat 3 conference. As far as recommendations, within the remaining periods of Habitat 3 conference in 2016, efforts by all those st stakeholders seriously concerned about Habitat Agenda have to be undertaken to spread and build knowledge about Habitat Agenda for those cities that are still unaware of it throughout the world. A global assessment of the Habitat Agenda implementation, including partnerships established since 1996, because we don't have that information yet. Reach out programs, means of implementation used, and the number of cities throughout the world aware of Habitat Agenda has to be undertaken by uh, neutral scientific establishments. The assessment results should feed in the ongoing global urban campaign. Habitat Agenda stakeholders have to intensify their presence and make their voice heard at the World Urban Forum 7 to be held in Medellin, Colombia. Uh, next year, uh, 2014. Utilizing the remaining time until Habitat 3 conference, there is an urgent need to promote effective partnerships, communications, and reach out programs for the implementation of Habitat uh, Agenda, even at pilot levels. Thank you.